Hey, good morning, everybody out there. So, I'm on my way to work. Wanted to give a very, very important piece of advice to my believers out there. Um, there has been an emotional wildfire that has been taking place on social media for the last week now. Uh, with all of the protesting, the rioting, um, and there's just more things unraveling that are occurring if you would just turn on the news and see that this is turning into um, a lot more than a protest for George Floyd. This is turning into something else. This is turning into a revolution. This is turning into a, a precursor, we'll say, to things to go right into the, the, um, the implementation of martial law. But I'm saying this because um, when I do log on, I see a lot of people, and I'm talking to believers because, you know, we are, we are we're the ones supposed to be level-headed. We're the ones supposed to be um, looking around and observing things and blowing the trumpet when we see danger. And it's kind of hard to do that if we're constantly on social media, if we're constantly on Facebook and Instagram because... Um, the mass majority of people that are on social media are not godly people and they don't care what they say they don't care how they say it how they word it they everyone's just pouring out of their emotions right now and I can tell you from personal experience that when you constantly ingest that read it all in your news feed all the time it has an effect on you um, you can wake up in the morning time and you can feel just fine. And if you get on Facebook for the first hour of your day and you see that, um, it can just put you in a bad mood. It can make you feel angry or whatever emotion you're prone to falling into. So I want to encourage believers out there to let, let's take a break. Let's fast. Let's, let's get away from social media. I understand that that might be hard for some of us out there. It's not the easiest thing to do since it is something that uh, we have been utilizing for quite some time now. It's kind of a part of our lives, but I'm encouraging you to take a break from it so you can have a mental, so you can have some mental clarity, so you can be able to think clearly, uh, pray without ceasing, seek the Lord out so that he may speak to you and you don't have to hear the voices of a thousand people who are upset and who are angry and emotional at this time period. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, I understand why people are mad. I understand why they're upset. But at the same time, Satan is the author of confusion. He wants to bring strife. He wants to bring malice. He wants you to look this way, look that way, every way except for Christ. And I'm seeing some Christians out here who are falling right into the trap, the emotional trap. They're falling for it. They're saying things that are ungodly. They're saying things that the Lord would not uh, condone. They're doing things that, that only the enemy would allow. You know what I'm saying? So let's just take a break. Let's get away from it. Okay, we know how this works. When something occurs, that's exactly what we're going to see on social media all day every day do not let the enemy play with your head amen so that being said god bless each and every one of you stay strong keep your eyes on christ stay praying stay in the word and just just keep watching keep your eyes open we are living in perilous times, a very, very eventful year thus far. It's only the month of May. Well, actually, it's June. It's the first. And, um, yeah, it's the first. We're living in some perilous times. So, here we are in the summer. Expect some changes to come. Expect some events to unfold. But also expect the Lord to be working. People are getting saved. People are coming to Him fast because um, they're scared. They're afraid, and they should be, uh, because this world is, is going down. It really is. So, God bless you all. Stay focused. Peace.